Hey guys, Tech Timmy here. So in this video, I am going to be unboxing three budget universal remotes. It is an epic comparison of the RCA versus GE versus Philips cheap universal remote controls. So if you're looking for a cheap universal remote, you're going to want to stick around and watch the full video. So let's get into it. Cheers. All right, so right off the bat, I will just say that these remotes are all no frills. So they will not control your smart home. They will, a couple of them will control some streaming players, but they won't control all streaming players. And they're limited to the number of devices you can control. So the RCA is, you can control three. With Philips, you can control three. And with GE, you can control four. Some of them have different models available where you can control more devices and or less devices. But these are pretty much the sort of the status quo, if you will, in sort of the cheap universal remote game. So what we're going to do is I'm going to box each one one at a time. We'll take a look at them and sort of go through some of the strengths and weaknesses and so forth. And I think what I'll do is I'll go in order from my least favorite choice to my favorite choice. I do have experience with a couple of these remotes where I have been using them. I've used them in the past and I've actually since retired them to, I've upgraded to a Silver Baton universal remote that controls both my smart home, my smart devices, and all of my home theater equipment. So there is that. And what I'll do also is I'll leave links to all three of these products in the description. And if you're interested in checking out a an upgrade option, I'll put a link to the Silver Baton remote in there as well. I also have a ton of videos on my channel about Silver Baton if you're interested in checking that out. So without further ado, let's get into it. So I think we're going to start out with the GE... Uh, three device universal remote here. Got my epic unboxing knife here. So with this remote, I am going to, I think we're just gonna rip into the plastic here. That's probably the easiest way to do it. I'm trying to try to do this without cutting myself and or the documentation, yeah. So that is probably the easiest way to get this guy out of the box. And I'm just gonna tug on that. And then, so here's the remote. So, you know, look and feel, perspective, all these remotes are going to have sort of like a plasticky feel. They're very, very lightweight. And this one I like because it has the, the numbers are a little bit larger than, than, than the other ones. And, you know, it, it has pretty much every button that you could need to control your basic television set up. And then also satellite and cable. And then there's a streaming button as well for a limited, my understanding is that the streaming capability with, with this guy is pretty limited. Again, you're limited to just controlling three devices. It does have some, you know, sort of the standard play, reverse, fast forward, you know, stop, blah, blah, blah capability. I believe, I'm just going to hold it up so you can get a little bit better look at the buttons and so forth. So yeah, so that's, this is the RCA one. This is, so this is what it looks like. Um, has the number pad at the bottom, obviously. We have a um, you know, ability to go back, to mute, and so forth. So, you know, basic basic standard buttons. Um, it, it also does support DVD players, and that's what those guys are for. So that'll be for your, you know, sort of your DVD, DVR. The, the, so these controls will allow you to control that for the most part with not a lot of, of, of other things is my understanding. Stream, I believe, will let you light up some limited amount of streaming players, but you cannot control streaming sticks like you know Roku or Fire TV stick stick with, with any of these guys um, because you know they basically rely on on uh, I believe it is instead of uh, IR it's radio frequency but these guys will let you control most IR devices which is essentially limited to your your your, your home theater equipment. Hold on, I have my home robot here <laughs> pushing over my. My smart my my lighting setup. So anyhow, so that's the deal with this guy, and um, yeah. So just for sake of completeness in the package here, <clears throat> you know, no frills packaging. It does give you some details in terms of what what's going on here. But it, again, as I had said, it's IR capability pretty much only. And then you've got your satellite cable, blah 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 control and then you know you have your nav pad two color keypad and then the larger size buttons i think is is a plus for this particular model but where you're limited to only three devices and not it won't control a lot of streaming i think this is going to be 
good for those that basically watch cable, you know, a lot of cable TV and you just want to be able to control your, 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 your TV and your cable box. And then it does feel, it does feel good in the hand. Again, it feels plasticky. And then this guy, I believe is the one that takes, yeah. So it is, uh, let me see. Hold on. Yeah, I can't barely see with my readers on. It does take AAA battery. So that's a little bit strange for, for universal remotes. In my opinion, most of them do the ones that are battery powered do either take double A batteries and or they are rechargeable so that's that and then yeah the other thing with these remotes is that they all are going to require that you mess around with these code lists on one of my blogs on my universal remote reviews blog i do have extensive lists of codes for for a couple of these remotes so i will include those so basically you need to go through with this little itty bitty type get out your magnifying glass and find the remote, find the code that matches up with your television you can, and or other devices, DVD player, you know, DVR. But you can see that there's there's a pretty extensive list of remotes. And then there are some general instructions in here as well. And I'm not going to belabor taking those out because I'm sure that, that you're, you're all probably familiar with with how, how to do that process. Again, I have some blog posts where you, there, I have larger tables that contain all of these codes and things, and I will link them down below if you're interested in checking those out. And, and that's over on universalremotereviews.com. Okay, so without further ado, I think we'll take this interestingly packaged one out of the box next. So this is the GE Universal Remote, super popular remote. Thousands of people own this thing. And... <laughs> Uh, now that I have, you know, sort of a more high-end remote, I, you know, it, it's in good faith. I have a hard time recommending these, but I get it if you're on a budget and, you know, you basically just have a few different devices to control, particularly if you are a heavy DVD, DVR watcher and or, you know, basically, you know, cable, cable and TV and so forth. So this box is interesting. So I thought I was buying the, the straight up version. It looks like it sent me a... Um, a refurb, you know, a, a refurbished version, which is fine. You know, thanks to you, this product has a second life, blah, blah, blah. So what's interesting is that there is no documentation here and it came already, you know, ripped. And so basically I already took it out earlier. And so this is the GE one and I'll just take it over here. We'll compare it with the RCA one. So this is the GE one and I'll just take it over here and we'll compare it with the RCA one. So from a design perspective, I, I don't know. I, I, I think they're, I like the RCA one, the way it feels just a little bit better. This one, the GE one just feels a little bit more cheap in my hand, if I'm being honest. And then, but the, the benefit of this guy, in addition to being able to control four devices instead of three, so I'm just gonna set the RCA aside for a second, is that basically you have, you know, more, you can control some additional devices. You have these buttons at the top, very straightforward, TV, cable, DVD, and audio. So in, so by audio, you can basically hook this up to, you know, most major sound bars it will work with. And with the caveat being most major sound bars. Um, the cool thing about both this product and also the Philips one is that they are both manufactured by the same company, which is interesting, a company called Jasco. And I know that you have the GE sort of brand there and also the Philips brand, but there's a company, Jasco, I don't know if they're the middleman or whatever, but they do the coordinating and own this thing. They also own the codes and maintain the code database. Again, I have done extensive research on the codes for these guys, and I'll, I, I will link up my, my, my blog post down below. Um, my understanding is that they're... Uh, you know, it, some of the, the the DVD button will basically open and close, you know, fire up the DVD player and then open and close. There's a, there's a button to open and close the, the DVD uh, door as well. And then, you know, and then you have some basic level of control. But I think, you know, for my money, it's, you know, it's basically here. So you've got the, you know, play, rewind, fast forward and so forth. And it just, it seems odd that the keys would be at the top of this remote. So... I don't love that, but you do have the menu button. You have a home button. You have, the, you know, the asterisk button. I believe that is is for like things like the guide and things on your television. And then you have have a go back or return. So the basic buttons are there, but again, this it's just it's it's sort of you know it's a very inexpensive remote to do a very limited set of things. And you know, with this one, you can control your television. And as I said, it's pre programmed out of the box for Samsung. And Roku, I believe it's just Roku Player, not Roku Stick. 
I'm like 99% sure that this won't do either of either Roku stick or Fire TV stick uh, because those rely on radio frequency and not infrared, but it will control infrared streamers. And the same goes for the next product on the list. So that is the this guy here from Philips, which is also made by Jasco. This one will also control three devices. So the GE one will control up to four devices, and then there are other options online where you can get, you know, you can, for a few extra bucks, literally like two or three extra dollars, you can get maybe a five device one and or a backlit option and so forth. But it's all, you know, these are all in the sub $20 range. And, you know, if you, you can find them on Amazon for like 10, 11, 12, $13, something like that, uh, pretty fairly consistently. So we'll just go through, through the, the package here. So for this one, controls both audio and video and the audio is soundbar and or I believe you can also hook it up to some receivers if I am if I'm remembering right I think that's right so you have you know sort of the audio is it would, would give you that option uh, for all major brands the Philips one is probably I would say the better of the three you're gonna have to read the instructions carefully on for, for all of these remotes to get to basically program them using those codes which is you know is slightly painful and this guy I would say I probably should have been a little bit more careful about the box, but so the instructions are actually underneath here. Um, so you definitely want to be careful taking those out. And then here, so also what I liked about this is that the instructions were a little bit better and, and the folks online could attest to that as well. So it tells you how to install the battery. So this, this is, uh, I believe, two AA, yeah, which is definitely, definitely a little more standard. So this one is, is AA and then, oop, well, that, that didn't go on to go back too nicely, did it? There we go. So it just clicks in there like that. After you install your batteries. And again, you have TV, streaming, which I think you can actually hook that up to. I think you can have this go directly so it opens your Netflix on your smart TV and or launch a streaming player that is not a stick. So that would be something like, I guess, Apple TV, a standard Roku box, Maybe Fire TV Q. I'm not even sure on that. I, I I feel like it won't work with the sticks, but it will work with the other devices. And then audio would be, you know, your soundbar and or receiver if it's compatible. And then no, so stream. So I'm wrong. So that. So this is for your streaming player, STR. And then there's a little. It's very very hard to read, but there's a button over here on the left that says stream. I think that is the one that you can actually hook up to hook up to Netflix. And we'll take a quick peek at the instructions to, to confirm that, but. Yeah, you know, in this one, I think I feel like the button layout's a little bit better. So you have your, you know, your play button here, fast forward, rewind, and then the stream button again. You can go back home, exit. Again, it, it's odd that they put these at the top of the remote, but I guess if you're into streaming mode, then I, I you know, the, I think that's generally fine. And then we have your typical, you know, uh, navigation pad here with a large OK button, which is cool. I believe the red buttons are related to DVD, DVR stuff, but we can look and confirm that. And then you have your, your you know, sort of keypad down here, which you're going to need to enter your universal remote codes and or I think you can control the channel with that as well. You also have channel up and down vol and volume and so forth on all of these guys, of course. And then, so... <clears throat> And this is backlit as well, so so which is cool. So, but it has an energy saver built in, so it automatically turns off the buttons or depress them within eight seconds. Save your battery, so you can pay place where your buttons remain depressed. Blah blah blah. So it turns off, turns itself off, and there's a code saver. And then yeah, so here we go. So let's just take a look at what those what. So number ten is those color buttons A B C D. Yeah, access additional features for DVDs cable and satellite receiver so that's what those color buttons are so so i so i got that right so so that's cool and then yeah so you know basically you have full instructions here so in terms of cheap remotes for my money again the limitation is you can only only control those three devices but if you are using it for you know deep primarily dvd cable tv um and streaming <laughs> then then it should be fine and then here is your list of remote codes i also have a blog post about the phillips remote codes on my blog so i will uh put a link down in the description to that but again you know it just to compare the three of them side by side one last time so here we go or i guess this is the first time we're actually looking at all three of them together um so we have the rca so here let's do it in order of, of order presented right so here we have the rca one 
um, with these sort of blue buttons. I do believe that those, they do illuminate in the dark, so that's nice. Uh, limited to three devices with this one. And, you know, you have a lot of different buttons. So stream is, that guy is not to launch Netflix. That is to launch your streaming player, such as an Apple TV, if you wanted to connect up your Apple TV to this to this guy. Assume you can get it to work because I've heard mi mixed reviews about the RCA remote and, and streaming devices. Again, no Fire TV stick, no Roku stick for sure on all three of these. It, it just, you, you're not going to be able to get it to work. Basic, you know, pad navigation here for channel up and down, volume and so forth. And then you have your, your, your you know, sort of play, play, for pass, fast forward, rewind buttons up above. And then for the GE one, um, again, this, this, this guy's been on the market for a long time. And I think that's probably the re reason why it has, you know, literally thousands of customers using this guy over, over the years to, you know, control their TV, cable, DVD player, and, and sort of audio. You know, to me, I, I I do most of my movie watching and show watching via streaming these days. So I, I I very rarely use my DVD DVR player anymore. So I feel like this is sort of you know, if if you're more old school in terms of your home theater tech, these guys will be fine. If you want something more advanced, I'll leave some information in the in the description about Sofa Baton. It'll just do a lot more control, a lot more devices that can be more happy with it. Um, but the learning curve is also a little bit steeper on some of the, some of the more advanced remotes, so there is that. And then for the Philips one, which I th I like the best, just because it actually feels a little bit more solid in the hand. It feels just a little bit less cheap than the others, and the button layout is a little bit nicer, just slightly nicer, I think. Um, so you can the input button lets you switch between your inputs. So if you ha were a gamer, for instance, you want to switch over to HDMI too, um, you could you could use that uh, that to do it. That works fine. And then, you know, TV, streaming device. So, you know, basically turn on the TV, turn off the TV, you know, streaming device such as Apple TV. Um, there's your power button. And then audio is, you know, if you got a, a sound bar that, that basically, you know, you, you want to turn on separately. And then um, the stream button. My understanding is that you can hook that up to Netflix and it actually works okay. I believe that is Netflix on your smart TV. I might be wrong. It could also, there might also be a way to hook it up with, say, if you, you know, have Netflix on, on Apple TV or, or, or some other streamer um, or, you know, whatever your favorite streaming thing is. I, I'm, pretty sure you, I'm pretty sure you can actually hook that button up to it, which is nice. It's a nice little shortcut. And then we have, uh, I believe that's this exit. Yeah, man, these are so small. And then um, you have your setup key used, you know, for part of programming. Mute, you can go, you know, last, I believe, is the same as this guy here. So it's, you know, return. And then, you know, channel up, channel down, obviously. The color buttons, again, for DVD, additional DVR, DVD, DVR stuff. And then you have your number pad and, you know, you enter and... Um, I'm not really sure what that guy does, but anyhow, so there you have it. So if you, you were curious in terms of, you know, thinking about buying one, a cheap universal remote and we're curious in terms of what your options are, these are really the three main ones. There might be one or two other ones out there, but these are definitely the most popular ones. And I've been blogging about universal remotes for years now. And, you know, I've used Logitech Harmony and uh, lately Sofa Baton and all manner of, uh, you know, cheap remotes. I've used the remotes with Apple TV. I've used remotes with my with my um, Amazon Fire TV Cube and so forth. But you know, all, these still seem to be very popular because of the price. And you know, from that perspective, I totally get it. If you have basic needs, you know, one of these will probably do you just fine. Just because, again, button layout's a little bit nicer, and from what I could tell from reviews, works a little bit nicer. And you also have that you know stream to launch your your favorite st uh, streaming app. So. Yeah, so that's pretty much it in terms of, you know, three cheap universal remote controls. So we have RCA versus GE versus Philips. And if you got any value from this video, if you wouldn't just mind giving me a quick thumbs up. If you want to see more vi videos on these guys, such as programming them and so, so on and so forth, maybe a little bit of a demo, uh, drop me a comment down below and let me know. I'm happy to do you know, sort of um, videos in ter terms of how to input the codes and so forth for each one of these if, if you guys are interested. But um, I probably won't bother unless you let me know. So drop a comment and, and let, let me know if you're interested in that. And hopefully this helped you and it will help you make a decision in terms of if you want to buy one of these, you know, sort of uh, budget remotes. Um, hopefully it will help you guys out. 